we'll make up all these sandwiches because here. The, a lot of go. the coaches won't come over here to eat, so we will make to-go boxes for them. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this meat up. I mean, are we? How many sandwiches do you think we got? It's a bunch. A lot. Okay, because Karen's getting really nervous. Who is? Like Karen, me. Oh, you are? How many players? 80. There's at least oh, yeah. 100, I would Okay. Think. Yes. Yeah, I think I, I can't have help no it. Idea. Beyond the Lights, Athens, presented by Roof Tech Solutions. You're welcome, ham or turkey. Ham. Okay. Do things that feed your soul, you. not your ego, and you will be happy. Guys, we got American or provolone cheese, too, so tell them what kind of cheese you want. For Karen Gross, game days are as important as pregame on the gridiron. That looks like a turkey Somewhere donut. Some of them is hard. It really is. <laughs> Two options of cheese today. You know what we say here, Jeff. Have it your way. Yeah, who's got it better than Athens football? Nobody. Me, my Fridays are a little different than other people's Fridays, but, you know, I try to stay busy and because, I, you know, I've got QB1, I got head coach, and I'm trying to, you know, keep my nerves down a little bit. I'm going to want American. Love you, buddy. Love you. Karen is an important piece of the Eagles football program as anyone within the organization. Why do I love it? I don't have an answer for that. I just, I just love it because Cody, with our ages, obviously, you know, we've been together most of our lives now. We started dating at 16 and 17. Karen was, uh, she was Karen Lash at the time. First, first date I ever had. And, um, uh, Struck gold on the first date, dated almost six years, and um, she goes to UNA. She's at UNA actually ahead of me. I like to point out she is older than me. Uh, I say a year, she says five months. So she graduated a year ahead of me. And um, she went and was uh, on the dance line with the Pride of Dixie marching band. She was a lionette. And then the following year, she joined the athletic training staff as I came in as a freshman. So for two years, she taped my ankles and uh, brought us water and just served the football team. And, um, and then she's been the, the consummate coach's wife. Uh, she's picked up and moved and had her life turned upside down and had to get new friends and leave great friends and sometimes raise those boys with me gone and uh, raising other people's boys. She's the best mom out there, very selfless. And no one understands how hard it is to be a coach's wife, especially a head coach and uh, the fact that she helps the team and she provides not only at home, but at the field, it just shows that she cares for all the kids and she loves them all. Man, we love Mama G. Mama G, uh, she always takes care of us. She makes sure to know everybody's name. Like, it, like from my freshman year, like she made sure that she got my name and it always stood. Jerome? Landon? KJ, hey, I am? I mean, she's like a team mom, you know, I mean, making us breakfast and, you know, she's always bringing, bringing biscuits and stuff from, for after practice and after workouts and stuff. And she's just always here and always a positive, you know, happy-go-lucky mom. From freshmen to seniors, JV players to varsity starters, Golden Eagles players value the extra support system from Mama G. It means more than you know, just because it, reminds me that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing and that um, we're making a difference or he's making a difference and I'm just supporting that. Um, I do love these kids. I love them being in my home. I love being around them. I had a former player, one of our former players from here in Athens text me a couple of weeks ago. I'm a realtor. I have my real estate license. I love it. It's obviously part time. I mean, this is my this is what I love to do. This is my calling. But I had a former player call me the other day and said that he was gonna buy a house next year and he wanted me to help him because he knew I would take care of him. And that, that's the truth. I mean, I just, it means more than you know, because they call me Mama G. <laughs> a lot of them do. Some call me by my first name, but I tell them not to call me Miss Gross because I'm not their teacher. I don't want to be Miss Gross. They can call me Miss Karen or Mama G. Either one is fine. Karen Gross has lived her life through family. She has sons involved within the Athens football program as coaches. QB1 is her youngest son, embarking on one final season of play for the Golden Eagles. 
Sometimes I think I don't, I'm, I may not even realize how special it is right now, uh, even though I'm trying to soak it in and, and take it all in. Um, I believe <laughs> I'll realize even more after it's, after broken's gone. I don't like to think about it. You know, I've enjoyed the journey. I've enjoyed the journey. I've enjoyed watching my oldest, my middle, and now Brogan. I've, I've just enjoyed it. And I like to think that I, I have, I have soaked it up and I have, and you know, I have, we have so many memories. We have so many stories we can talk about. And we've, you know, of course with last year and this year having us all to, you know, everybody together on the field and me in the stands, it's, I guess the way I got to look at it is it, I got to be thankful instead of being sad because it could, I mean, you know, that that's something a lot of people can't say. So I'm just thankful that we have it. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm thankful that when Brogan graduates that I still get to experience Friday night football. It won't be exactly the same, but every Friday night, you'll know where you'll be able to find me during the football season, so. Friday night for game one brought Karen and the Athens football team to Huntsville. Hey everyone, welcome to the first game of the Athens Golden Eagle 2024 season. Tonight the Golden Eagles take on the May Jemison Jag. We're over at Joe Davis Stadium, which is now called Wicks Family Field. The Golden Eagles prepare for game one without the services of starting senior safety Walker Harrison, who observes from the sidelines with an injury. So, pulled my hamstring uh, like July 30th, I think, and then um, was good. I was thinking I was going to get to play Friday night, and then I was trying to run full speed, and I pulled it again. Man, Walker, that's just he's just a great guy. Like he's a good teammate. He comes around. Anybody's down, he's always trying to help us get up, keep the energy, even though he's hurt right now. I've always thought I loved football, but I mean, I know I do now because whenever you're not out there, you really understand how much you like it and how much you miss it when you're not doing it. With Walker's sideline, his Golden Eagle brothers with willing and able bodies prepare for the first test of the season. Some juice. Ah! One more time. One more time. Ah! Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these young men. We thank you for this special opportunity. God, we thank you for our health, our strength. We thank you for our families, our coaches. Keep us disciplined, keep us focused. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, listen. All right, so we talk about this a lot. This sport demands more out of you than other sports. More work, longer hours, and you play less than anybody. Tonight you get an opportunity. And I'll just tell you, one of the best venues I've ever been in. You got an unbelievable opportunity tonight to go play the great game of football on a Friday night in the state of Alabama. And I am thrilled for you. And tonight, man, I, I, say, this, I say this every year, okay? And I don't know if you'll ever really understand it until you become a daddy. But I can't wait to watch you play. I cannot wait to watch you play. I see the work you put in. I see the dedication you got. I see the love you got for each other. Now you get to go play. Like a little kid just getting to go play. You get to go play, that's it. And I cannot wait to watch you play. Now, all I want you to do is go have fun. All I want you to do is go have fun, and we know what that is. How do you have fun playing sports? You get after somebody's butt, that's it. What do you say we go get after their tail? Here's a kick. It's a pooch kick. It's going to come to the near side, taking it about the 23, crossing 30, and down at the 34 yard line. Good field position to start. Caden Bledsoe taking the snap, give it to Malone. He hits the left side and goes nowhere. May have lost a yard. Second and 11. Again, I backfield broken under center, takes the snap, pitch hit, to the hit, right hit, side. Hit, 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 he goes hit, down hit. after about Dang a two it. yard I gain. Heard. Nine. This time they'll go into shotgun, single back on each side. One goes into the mo in motion. Brogan rolls out to his left, looking downfield. It's going to be caught and thrown down back at the 25-yard line. Big loss. So the Golden Eagles will have to punt on their first drive. 
Burroughs, the quarterback, he takes the snap, dropping straight back, looking to throw over the middle, a little screen completed, hit at the 35 and down at the nice. 37, well nice. short of the first down marker. Hey, let's go, O.L. Let's go, let's go. Under center is Brogan, he takes the snap, gives his tailback, Howard. Good. He good, breaks good. a couple of tackles, right. gets across the 40 four. Four. to about the 41-yard line. So that's a, about a seven-yard pickup. Pitch again to Edwards, this time on the right side. He is wrapped up after about a two-yard gain, so it'll bring up third and about four. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. All right, I backfield again. Broken under center, turns and gives this time to his fullback and nowhere to go that time. Stopped at the line, so it'll bring up fourth down. All right, putting Edwards in motion and rolling to his right is Broken looking downfield, going to throw in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. Oh, we look awful. May Jamison will take over on downs. Burroughs in the shotgun, fakes to his tailback, looking to throw downfield, does. He throws long downfield uh, and caught at the 15-yard line complete for the Jaguars. Hey, let's go, baby! Let's go! That's it! That's it! That's it, D! Shotgun formation, Burroughs drops straight back, looking to throw again. He's going to be hit in the backfield and goes down. Sack back at the 24-yard line, and the Golden Eagles hold on that third down, and it'll bring up four. No score, but Jemison, the blitz comes in. The Golden Eagles take him down again, back at the 30-yard line. Two in a row for Venus. Yeah. That's it. He's pumped, too, Eddie. Number 42, Benny Sauber got in there and made that sack back at the 30-yard line. Not only that, that gives Golden Eagles great field position. Third down play. Puts Howard in motion. Going to roll to his right. Is broken. Looking downfield. Caught. Oh, Walked away and got the first down at the 42-yard line. Nice throwing catch. Great catch yeah, by Aiden Lovell. Lovell. And that will end the quarter. No score from Joe Davis Stadium. Golden Eagles have had a, had a tough time getting much going. It's a man in motion. Gives his tailback on the left side. Finds a hole. Breaks through. Gets the first down. Crossing the 40 to down to about the 38-yard line. Here's the give to Howard on the left side. Good. Breaks, go, go. He's got some opening, go. breaks one tackle, goes out of bounds, finally down at about the 20 yard line. But that's another Troy Elmore built in option first day. Keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding, keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Welcome to Friday night. 10 44 left in the half. No score, but the Golden Eagles are threatening. Quick throw to the near side, complete. Gets the first down at the 10. Ball oh, comes loose. Oh, oh my goodness, Jemison comes away with the fumble. Hey, great drive. Great drive. We got to finish. We got to finish. Let's go. Hey, keep your head up. That's a great drive. I think we're a hard working defense and we're not afraid to go hit people. We're really good at like rallying to the ball and all that. We are definitely a smaller defense from the last year. You know, like we don't have Jalen Woods, or AI Moore, or anybody with like big size. So we really have to be like very tenacious. First quarter, everybody's gonna go hard. But like once you get a big play and you build momentum, it starts to slow them down. I feel like we play good together right now, but once we get like further on into the season, I feel like we'll play much better together. Like growing as a team, growing as a defense in general. I think we could be a elite defense if we really keep working at it. That's gonna do it. Hey, 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 great job defense. Yeah, good job, great, job, great job, D, great job, D. Offense got something going, got something going, turn the ball over. Now look, they have absolutely shot themselves in the foot. If they didn't have 78 penalties, this would be a different ball game, okay? This one will pay off. Now, we're right there at the end of the half, we don't have a mouthpiece in, and then we get a penalty after the play. That's the first time we did it, but it costs us. Do your job. Don't get tired of doing good. Do your job. Play after play after play after play after play. And the way we live pays off as this game goes. All right, getting ready to kick, starting here in the third quarter. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Here's the snap. Give to Langford on the left side. He's hit. Goes yeah. down. No gain on the yeah. play. May have lost yeah. a yard. So good play. Yeah, big drum alone. Fakes to his tailback, rolls to his right, is hit and yes. goes down. Good yes. play by the Golden yes. Eagles over there. Here's the second and ten. Give this time to his tailback. Hits it, finds a hole on the left side, breaks a tackle, ball comes loose. Oh, May Jemison gets it, and they're going to have it at their 42 yard line. It's a lot of self induced pain, guys. This defense going to step up again. Let's go. We're good. Hey, we're fine. Hey, hey, got something going. Relax. Hey, settle down. Hey, get your head up. Hey, had something going. Get your head up. Good, Benny. Yes. 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 Good job by the Golden Eagle defense that time. Let's do something with it right here. We need to do something. It's time. No score here in the third quarter. 6.53 left. Here's the snap, Rogan throws in and out of the hands of his intended receiver. And this time gives to his tailback, hit in the backfield and is thrown down. Marcus Malone had nowhere to go that time. So fourth down, Golden Eagles gonna have to punt. Rogan brings it down, kick, gets a kick away. Pretty good one this time, taken. Oh, oh it's Muff. Golden Eagles are gonna have it. We got the ball, at the we, got the ball. we got the ball, we got the ball, we got the ball. We got it, we got it. We got it. Golden Eagle offense rolling to his right, looking to throw. He does throw, complete nice. across the way and out of bounds. That's Aiden Lovell, if I'm nice. not mistaken. It is. Get a little confidence. Taking the snap, dropping straight back, looking to throw. Rogan's going to get inside the 15. He's going to break one tackle, get inside the 10. Got in. Does he get in? Yes. And that's a touchdown for the Golden Eagles. Whoa. <laughs> Dropping straight back. He's looking to throw. Throws over the middle. In and out of the hand. Oh, oh, oh. Intercepted. Intercepted by the Golden Eagles. Back across the 30, the 40. And out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Good interception that time by the Golden Eagles. Hands up, I get it. Hands up, I get it. It's gone. Hands up, I get it. It's gone. the snap on first down. Give to Edwards again. Finds a little hole on the left side. Breaks for the outside. He's going to get a first down and out of bounds. At about the 17, and a flag comes out for a late hit. And so I'll tack on a few more. Brogan has it. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to get the end zone. Touchdown, Golden Eagles. He's got some room on the outside. He gets it in there, touchdown! 14 yard run by Demarcus Malone. <laughs> So that's going to do it. Golden Eagles going to take this one 21 to 6. It wasn't pretty, right? Uh, defense, great job, man. Great job, great job. Almost got shut out. We'll get another. We'll get, we'll get another chance next week. But what happened was, you continue to pound them. The way we live is different than the way they live, and it pays off. It pays off. Get your eyes up. That's not. That's not lip service. That's not something we talk about. It's not just. Tough people win, it's easy to put that crap on a wall. It's easy to put TPW in the back of your shirt. It's easy to break it down on TPW. But tough people do win, and you have to keep fighting. You keep fighting. You keep hitting. And that's what, that's what we did tonight. But I saw a few of you grow up. I'm proud of guys that laid their guts on the line. Let's come to work Monday to get ready to freaking buckhorn. Yes, sir. All right? We got to keep building, keep building, keep building. This team's going to get better as it goes. This team's going to get better as it goes, but we got to work. We got to work. Love you dudes, man. TBW on three. One, two, three. Next week on Beyond the Lights, Athens. The Golden Eagles kick off their first home game of the season against a veteran team from North Alabama. 
Will Athens navigate four quarters of play to a 2-0 record? 